All right, so guess what? My female Aki is looking a little wrinkly in the back end, so I get to start digging for eggs. Here we go. Hey, buddy. I know, I got your girlfriend's eggs. We're good. This is gonna be her very first clutch she's ever had, so fingers crossed, we got a bunch of good healthy eggs. I got my sim container ready to go. Got the incubator all set up. It's running at 84 degrees, and hopefully I get to put something in it for the first time. <laughs> Let's go see what happens. Finally found the eggs. Let's see how many we got. We got the first one uncovered. I think I see some more in here, so we gotta be real gentle on it. There's one. Ooh, I see two more. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try our best to keep the eggs facing straight up. The same orientation we found them. So that way if an embryo has attached already, or that way if an embryo has attached, it doesn't drown itself. So we have to make it orientated. Um, later on I will candle all these eggs. There's another one. Got five so far. I think I see another. Lucky number six. Oh, this is so exciting. Hello. <laughs> hey, buddy. More. Seven. Eight. Oh, and these look like good eggs too, guys. I don't see any slugs so far. What's a slug? So right, these so eggs, you can see how well symmetrical they are. They have a nice firmness to them. They feel like they're calcifying. They're nice colored. They look healthy. A slug egg usually will be smaller, it'll be yellower, it'll have a different type of hue to it, and uh, those are all unfertile eggs, so those are just bad eggs that didn't develop. And it looks like red and blue are almost getting ready for the second clutch. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that's it. It looks like we have eight good eggs, and that is huge. We were really worried. This is the smallest female that was in the litter, so uh, we were a little worried about her laying eggs, but Eight good eggs. <laughs> I'm stupid giddy excited. So let's go ahead, put them back together. Hopefully they make us more. Um, the good part about Ackies is they will breed multiple times a year. Hopefully this is the first clutch of many. I expect, um, so long as I feed them healthy, which you can see how many crickets are in the cage, hopefully I'm feeding them enough with a whole lot of calcium. They're gonna be ready pretty soon here. As early as 20 days post lay, the males and females can actually start copulating again. So. Hopefully in as early as two months, I can have another uh, clutch like this, maybe even a little bit better if we're lucky. So let's cross our fingers. In 120 days, we're gonna get this baby so, going. If you look at the box, I have a Squagmata Sim Container, suspended incubation method. So I use filtered water, I fill up to the fill line, put the corrugated sheet on top, and then I put in these rails that keep all of the eggs organized so they don't roll around. I put on this rubberized top that allows for pressure, uh, pressure differentiation, so none of the eggs pop as pressure as temperatures change. But I also heard from uh, Rare Earth, they actually told us what they do. So they put these six small holes all around there and they cover five of them up. Two weeks before they're due, they go ahead and take the tape off and open up all six holes. So that way they dry out just a little bit more and they have really, really high success rate with that. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna try it this way. I put blue tape across the middle, I'm gonna mark today's date. And then I'm also gonna mark the due date. So hopefully we know exactly what date we're all gonna have babies. Ah. Bam! There it is guys, 120 days, I got baby Yankees. Gonna have eight, I'm so excited. Hopefully if I did my job right, well, we'll see if I did.
We didn't come up with anything, Jeff. 